Hello, everybody. I am Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks coming to you with a brand new Looney Tunes World of Mayhem video. I am an official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem, and uh, we have got a ton to jump into today. Just call it Blog Post Monday because we've got new events, event details, and uh, some reworks. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so we're right here on the official website for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem, and we're going to go to our new upcoming events in September 1st. And there's something I'm super hyped about at the end of this, but let's let's go through it real quick. Now, of course, they reserve the right to change any all and everything. All these names are fabricated to protect the innocent. All right, so we're going to skip past the, the calendar real quick. And uh, we currently are in our legendary event, which t which really is just a path to legendary. However, you can obtain some Dread Pirate Penelope pieces in the event that we currently are in, which I am affectionately calling Deck Swab Dogwater. Uh, we are on the last day of that. Well, it says to September 15th. I'm not quite sure that that's correct because we should be on the last day of it because uh, tomorrow... Manana, if you will. Avalooney Regional Event, and we're going to hop over and take a look at the details for that in its own blog post here in just a moment, so stick around. Um, so we've got Avalooney Regional from September 14th to September 17th, and then, of course, running that same time, we've got a Hunter Spotlight. Now, if you're like me and you didn't get a chance to uh, really rank up your... Uh, Jumanji Canasta here, uh, General Canasta, or your contraptionist egghead. This may be the time that you pull the old black tickets out of the mattress and you drop those things on the wheel, but I do encourage everyone before you just get hype and start spinning that old thing, look at the percentages first. Always keep in mind what the worst percentage is, and if you're happy with that, then spin that thing till your heart's content. But that's going from September 14th to September 17th. Then September 17th, calling all cannonballs, or at least the human variety, Cannonball Coyote hops into the cannon, fuse and gunpowder primed, ready to go to the moon. Uh, from September 17th to the 21st, don't know what type of team he's going to be on. One would just guess that it may be something like a circus team or something like that. We don't know for sure, but uh, we will have a chance to obtain him from the 17th to the 21st. Uh, Feature tunes in that event, Grand Duke Sylvester Jr., Grand Duke Sylvester, General Pandemonium, Contraptionist Egghead, Hillbilly Hair, Dr. Kill Patient, and K9000. And then we've got another path to Legendary coming up that following Monday, September 20th to 24th. That's right. Oh, Granny Thanos, a.k.a. Evil Granny. Um, I'll be honest, I love Evil Granny. I love Nova Bunny. Don't really like the team they're on, personally. Um, if you're a big fan of, of that team, let me know down in the comments down below. Also, if you need to know what tunes to use for Evil Granny's Path to Legendary. Not only can you look in game under the PTL section in the teams, but we also have a Path to Legendary guide, which yes, I have to update with Dread Pirate Penelope, but it's gonna be down in the description below. So feel free to check that out. And uh, then that following, following that PTL, that Tuesday, is uh, September 21st to 24th, we have a Space Regional. Now, what I would probably recommend, since there's a Space Regional running about the same exact time that the Evil Granny PTL is running, what I would recommend is that you might wait the next day when this Regional comes out, and then go for your evil granny because if we look at the milestones and if there's points for legendary tune pieces then you're going to be able to get some of those here so hold off breathe be patient until the very next day when the space event drops and hey if there's a milestone or not then you can go ham on getting old granny thanos but we've got that space regional from september 21st to september 24th 
we also will have a fiend spotlight now i love my fiend team i've been playing around with a few combinations switching out oh mike oh mike uh but this is probably another team that might not be too bad uh, if you have missed out on regionals maxing out these three guys here, Opat, Omike, and Yokai, and you haven't had a chance at the PTL for, for Monster Tweety, maybe this is where, you know, some new players drop some black tickets. I think most players probably have a good Fiend team in place who are later in the game or who have been playing for a while, but this may not be a bad way to go because this Fiend team is going to carry you for, for quite some time. And then the moment we've all been waiting for. That's right. We've got a brand new legendary Toro hitting the game. And he's not just any legendary Toro. No, check it out. It says Triple A match or Triple A September 24th to September 28th. Well, he kind of. He kind of looks like a wrestler, doesn't he? <laughs> well, you know, you would be right if you'd say so. As the first wrestler's team member, El Espectro aims to use his high-flying moves to help you crush all the unsuspecting tunes in the world of mayhem. Don't sleep on your chance to unlock and rank up this formidable grappler, or he will haunt your dreams. So he is a legendary, brand new Toro, featured tunes, Grand Duke Sylvester Jr., Grand Duke Sylvester, Marvin the Marvelous, Fireman Bugs, Athena Petunia, Henry Horse, and K9000. Now, I'm super hype about this because some of you know, some of you may not, right here in Memphis, Tennessee, I am the owner of the greatest wrestling company in four states. We're talking about 901 Wrestling. Uh, I cut my teeth in the business as a pro wrestling manager and um, a wrestling team might get might get one of those old talking Tommy tunes in the game one day. All right, let's hop over to the event details for our Avalooney event coming up tomorrow. All right, so here we go. We've got a Hunter Spotlight and an Avalooney event. Now, the spotlights are pretty straightforward, so we're going to skip straight to the Avalooney regional event. Uh, blog post constructed a little different. It does give us a little bit more information than usual, which I do like. Come explore the world of Mayhem's hidden treasures with the regional Avalooney tunes to obtain special event, event materials used in exchanges for Avalooney tune pieces, Avalooney tune-up materials, and more so minimum player level is 40 the event lasts four days there will be one avalone campaign one cosmic star farm campaign one avalone tournament and one event wheel so they are telling us right there we've got an event wheel chances are it's not going to be a mcguffin wheel it's probably going to be a gold ticket wheel uh, this event will feature one main Avalooney campaign where players can collect shovels used in exchanges for materials needed to level up, tune up, and rank up your Avalooney tunes as well as exchanges for Avalooney tune pieces. As side Cosmic Avalooney events gives players the opportunity to participate in a Cosmic Star campaign featuring Elmer the Sure, Grand Duke Sylvester, Marvin the Marvelous, and Alchemist Frankenbeans, to play up for this little little wonky right there hair hair to play up for six cosmic stars but essentially i like this it's telling us right here who's going to be in the cosmic star campaign okay thank you because now i can put my mind on who i want to go for right and uh the avalone tournament also gives you opportunities to get special regional materials gold and xp and they are showing us the featured exchanges now you're going to see that not everybody is listed here uh but there are a few newer tunes here along with some old favorites so you've got marvin the marvelous alchemist frankenbeans grand duke sylvester elmer the sure jester bugs gossamer chamberlain porky don't call him cumberland Peppy Labard, Witch Hazel, Devil Dog, Handmaiden Granny, Sylvester the Brash, Roll Page Coyote, and in the crest exchanges, we have Countess Penelope, Grand Dukeling Sylvester, I assume Junior, and Fair Lady Melissa. 
So there we have it on the Avalonia event coming up tomorrow. We've got a lot more info in that blog post, but of course we don't have a whole lot of info. We don't know exactly how it's going to be set up. We'll have to see, but we will be live at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks when that event drops. So join us and we'll find out together. All right, last but not least, reworks, pal. Patch notes, pal. We've got some patch notes. Now, we knew this was coming, and what I'm going to say first off, I know a lot of people, whenever the word rework uh, is shuttered, uh, they downvote me, they burn the castle. Okay, I, I didn't rework them. I didn't. I promise I didn't. I'm just trying to give you the information. I would, however, like to know what you think about them, so let me know down in the comments down below. So they told us with the addition of K9000 in the Battle Pass um, information, which I'll put a uh, link to that video above, that the Mastermind team was going to have some subtractions, additions, and then there was going to be a new cyber team. So let's take a look at uh, the first one up is M4RV1 moved from Mastermind theme tag to cyber theme tag, becoming part of the cyber team. Debug now flips debuffs on cyber team members before it was masterminds. So deal 100% damage to target enemy, flipping two debuffs on each cyber team member. Control the grid now grants buffs to all cyber allies. Now, the Jax Army chat and I think this is a typo because it's the same exact thing here. Because this is normally uh, his taunting ability. And I feel like that's probably the same. The difference is they changed it from Mastermind to Cyber Team. We'll just have to see once it drops or if this gets updated. Dampening Field was reworked. Whenever an enemy hits this tune, hack them for three turns and inflict attack down for each stack of hacked, up to five attack downs. And I think this right here gives us more indication uh, than anything of what um, this team's going to be about because it says for each stack of hat. So this may be something that's similar to a magic team, just works a little different as opposed to slowing. It's more about debuffs. We'll just have to see, but that may be our first indication. And then we've got, of course, he's mastermind friendship was replaced by the cyber friendship. Uh, and then we've got egg H34D moved from outlaws team to cyber theme to become part of the cyber team. Race for Time now deals damage to enemies for each stack of hacked on them. Again, stack of hacked. Granting all allies 15% turn meter, removing 15% turn meter from all enemies, deal 3% max health damage to hacked enemies per stack of hacked. It was a higher percentage uh, of health damage before, but now there's that stack of hack mechanic in there, so we'll have to see how that works. Uh, hack now heals all allies for each stack of hacked on all allies. Hack target for as long as this tune is in battle and heal allies for 20% heal power per stack of hacked on the enemy. And it worked a little bit different before you can go in the game and see it worked a little bit different. And I think a lot of these, whereas I know a lot of people were using uh, these two tunes on defense in various configurations, it is moving to more of a team-based game. And with that being known, it's kind of hard to, for me at least, to see exactly where, if these are nerfs, if they're better, because we don't have all of the puzzle pieces to the story. We've only got two out of a minimum four members of this uh, cyber team. All right, so I'm in scaling was rebalanced. Now, this was changed quite a bit, um, and... We'll have to see how what effect that is. Hacked enemies have negative 20% attack and defense. This tune has hidden while any enemy is hacked. Um, DDoS now removes turn meter from enemies for stacked of hacked on them. Again, stack of hacked. Stun target enemy removing 25% turn meter per stack of hacked on them. And now we'll have to see what that stack goes up to. If it's, if, if you know... A lot of stuff we don't know just yet. Firewall now removes turn meter and flips buffs on enemies for each stack of hacked on them. 
At the start of this tune's turn, remove 6% turn meter and flip all buffs on every enemy for each stack of hacked on them. That could be huge. It could be not. Uh, again, as much information as we've got, we just don't have all the parameters yet. And of course, the Outlaw Friendship was replaced by a Cyber Friendship. And I think this one right here, I can instantly get this. Um, K9, moved from Hunter theme tag to Masterminds. Well, thank you. It, it's been about time. I mean, he had a friendship with Marvin, who's on the team, and he's never been part of that Mastermind team. It's about time. I'm really glad for that. And then there were a couple other bug fixes and changes. General Pandemonium fixed convenience inferiority, not triggering on the enemy's first turn. And Elmer Fudd fixed Nemesis skill, not working properly when attacking Daffy Duck. All right, so there's what we've got today for you. We had a blog post Monday, if you will. Let me know what you think about all of this information. I know it was a lot, but I wanted to make sure we got it out to you. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And remember, five days per week. Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks on Twitch streaming Looney Tunes World of Mayhem as soon as events drop. And um, we got wrestlers coming to the game. That's right. Brand new Legendary Toro. Let me know what you think about that. And if you haven't already done it, hit that old subscribe button. Bang the hell out of that bell. Throw a like on this thing while you're at it. And until next time, guys, stay loony. And we'll catch you down the road.